What is going on everybody? We are back with another Platinum Trophy video and this time we will be getting the Ratchet and Clank PS4 version Platinum Trophy. Now, I picked this up a couple weeks ago because I have always wanted to fully finish this game. I had the original Ratchet and Clank on PS2 back in the day and for some reason I just never got around to finishing that game. So I figured, you know what? I will get the PS4 version because what better way to finally finish this game than to play the upgraded version and get some trophies along the way. And after playing this game, I'm kind of bummed that I never fully finished this back in the day. Because this game is freaking awesome. I grew up on 2D and 3D platformers. So I love these type of games and I would love to see this genre make a comeback at least on consoles and I'm kinda bummed that I also never played the sequels because now I want to play the sequels now I understand that they made a Ratchet and Clank collection for PS3 so if I ever come across that maybe I'll get around to playing those who knows we'll have to see so as far as the trophies are in this game, this is actually a really simple Platinum. There's going to be some type of grinding, but not as bad as in other games. And there's only one trophy in this game that's really annoying, and that's the one where you have to hit every single enemy in the game with the Groovatron weapon. And the problem with that is, is that there's no stat tracker to keep count of who you hit with that weapon. You have to keep count yourself. And some enemies only appear one time. And this game has a really, really annoying autosave feature where it almost autosaves constantly. So that if you miss hitting that weapon with the Groobatron one time, you have to redo the entire game. That sucks. I hate trophies like that. But outside of that, this is a pretty simple Platinum. As for the final trophy we have to get here before the Platinum... I just have to fully finish upgrading one weapon. So, let's just upgrade this weapon and it's time to add another Platinum to the collection. Now, at first, this might seem like a lot of, you're gonna need a lot of rare titanium to upgrade these weapons, but as you can see with my stats there, you can get a lot of it. So, I wouldn't really worry about that. So let's just finish upgrading this weapon and we will get the Platinum. And actually some of these weapons actually increase the rare titanium drop count so I would focus on getting those first so that the grinding will be, it will take less time to grind later on. Okay, there we go. These go to 11. And there's the Platinum Trophy, the Hero of Heroes. So, that's awesome. Another Platinum added to the collection. But before we go, I'm going to use probably my favorite weapon in the entire game. This is so fun to use. It's originally called the Sheepinator, but it's also called the Goatinator. And, okay, they did not turn into goats, like I hoped they would. We will do this before I end the video, goddammit. Okay, there are no enemies over here, so. Oh, that's a shame, so. Anyway, when you hit enemies with this weapon, they turn into goats and sheep. It's, it's a lot of fun, so I'll just leave it at that, so. Alright. That is it for this video, and until the next Platinum Trophy, you all have a good one.